I gotta tell you, I was looking at the menu online and this is the one that jumped out at me. I said I need it, I want it. So tell everybody what we're looking at and then I gotta I got eat it. Ooh man, it's like a 60% vegetarian menu, but they got plenty of bacon. Well, I know plenty of vegetarians that eat bacon. Yeah. Christopher, you know what? I'm glad you've chosen me as your favorite and taken me to eat food with you today. I was really jealous because you've eaten some marvelous, delicious things. So thank you. Yeah, don't well, don't thank me just yet. I actually brought you along as my DD. Um, DD, what, designated driver. What you're drinking today? No, uh, <laughs> designated drinker. They have something like 50 beers on tap, and uh, I don't drink, so. Okay, well, I didn't eat breakfast because I was going to come hungry, so that's a problem. No, perfect. Now, you drink your breakfast. Drink yeah, okay. Oops, definitely. Um, okay. Yeah, no, you're good. Just uh, okay. do it. All I'm right. going to... Good luck. Yeah. Okay. All right. Drinking my breakfast. Michael. Oh, hey, Chris. What is going on, man? How are you? Welcome. Ooh, can we take just a small little break? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I don't want to stop you in the middle of everything because it smells so absolutely. good. Absolutely. Just blanch some fresh fries here. I love it, man. So we're here at Barrel Republic with Michael Brown, chef extraordinaire. And uh, we're in his kitchen, man. So uh, it's nice to be in your home. Thanks for having us. Hey, glad you're here. Nice. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the Barrel Republic, man. Absolutely. Barrel Republic was basically built on technology of beer, mm -hmm. and, uh, and my job was to make people come back with great food. Well, I, when I got here, I got this here bracelet. What am I? What, uh, what am I doing with this? So basically, you've got yourself a RFID reader. All right, let me give you guys a rundown of how this place works. A normal bar, you walk up, you're gonna wait in line for like 30 minutes. There's five or six hot girls up there. They're getting their drinks way before you. You're just a regular looking dude. Not this place. This is your tab. All I gotta do is walk up. Scan it, turns green, all right? Now you can pour your own drink. Now, there are 48 beers on tap, so you can try one of each, or you can get a full glass of your favorite. Mm. And so uh, what are you working on back here? What do we got? Well, we, uh, we're a fresh food kitchen. We have no freezer in the kitchen, so we do everything fresh from scratch. So how long have you been working here? How long has this place been around? Well, we, we opened about a year and eight months ago in the Oceanside location. Uh, the original location is non-food Pacific Beach. Mm -hmm. It's coming up on four years. Same story. That's uh, the same here. story. Yeah. Uh, and then we just recently, well I shouldn't say recently now, about nine months ago opened Carlsbad. Oh, very nice. um, Carlsbad's the busiest and largest of the three stores. And so for the menu here specifically then, how do you come up with everything? Where does it come from? Uh, for this particular operation, uh, the owner had the concept and the, and the vision for the self-serve craft beer, mm -hmm. and then he and I joined together to, to bring the, the food to life, if you will. Oh. But I've been lucky enough to be involved in sushi and steakhouses, and I've had uh, Paul Newman in my kitchen whipping up his own grandma's Newman's dressing. Own. And, yeah. Um, yeah, just, just crazy food experiences, stuff that just happened in my life, and, and I tried to bring all of that here. Um, not being a San Diego native, uh, and my third trip to San Diego, if you will, I read a whole bunch of menus, arguably about 300 of them here in San Diego. And basically anything that was just on a lot of menus, we just chose to, to go a different path. Uh, all this talk about food's making me kind of hungry. Oh, hey, let's go get out of here and try some great food. Yeah, let's. Let me drop these fries in and I'll away we go. Sounds great. Okay. So, I thought Chris was being nice, inviting me out to eat with him, but he gets to enjoy the food, I get to enjoy the beer. So we've got 47 craft beers, randomly placed. I'm going to drink them, and with my powers of detection, I will tell you which one is which. I have no idea which beer is which, so I'm going to start here, and I'm gonna give it a little, it smells, I think there's a little chocolate, Let's see? I'm gonna go with um, number 41, Jazz Hands. All right, man. 
I've been here all day. I haven't had anything to eat. I've been sitting in front of a pile of popcorn that's got bacon all over it. Uh, and there seems to be pork kind of everywhere. Why don't you run me through what we got? What we got well, going? Well, what we have just a little selection of our appetizers. So we do have bacon popcorn, exactly that. It's got a little honey glaze to it, nice and sweet. We've got our potato barrels. Uh, potato barrels are hand breaded gorgonzola potato with Parmesan cheese, truffle chimichurri sauce. But one of the bigger crowd favorites and uh, a dish that has been on the menu since day one is the bacon wrapped pork belly. We slowly cook uh, pork belly for about three and a half hours. We press it, really compact it. Uh, we roll it in bacon and we flash fry it, drizzle with honey, a little bit of uh, kale slaw going with it, a little red wine vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. it's fantastic. Let me confirm. <laughs> It's basically a pork box as well. <laughs> what? So a nice, umptious, perfect thing to have a beer with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beer sets it off right, you know, pairs really well. Bacon, beer, what could be wrong? How did you get this whole menu together, by the way? Basically, the, the premise of the menu was two things. We, we A, wanted really fresh food. The second part of it, we wanted everything shareable. Mm -hmm. So the idea with the self-serve beer is that right now we could get up from the table, go get another beer, come back. The food is still good. It's still, you know, even if it's at room temperature, it's still going to be tasting good. So in that way, you know, you're with a group of friends. It's shareable. It's, you, know, you can pick up something. I don't know. And some things when you're, this is your significant other, you really don't want to share them. But most of the food here is pretty shareable. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Bacon and honey. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't want to stop eating this. I just I know there's more to come. But did I try this yet? <laughs> I don't think I. Where is this? Yeah, no. No, no. There's still amazing. <laughs> Speed round. All right, guys. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna just like. I'm gonna do like a bunch of these in a row. I'm just gonna name numbers. All right, here we go. Mmm. Sixteen. I've already said that one, but I don't care. Mmm. Thirty-four. Mmm. Those all look the exact same. So thirty-four again. Mmm. Still the exact same. Thirty-four again. Oh my God! Another thirty-four. Holy crap! Do you see all these 34s? Are you freaking kidding me? All right, here we go. This is one's a 37. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this definitely tastes like a 37. Ooh, healthy salad. Nice. It's got uh, a lot going on here. What am I looking at? So basically, this is our Iron Man salad. And it is, was set up as a superfood salad, if you will. It has spinach, it has kale, it has flaxseed, it has berries, it has raw almonds. It has cran raisins. Strawberries? Uh, the mm. dressing is a maple turmeric. So, you know, again, big buzzwords in the superfood world. Mm -hmm. any, of the, any of our salads, protein can be added to it. So if we wanted to take the salad and make it less healthy, we could add our pork belly. Yeah. Or yep. we could keep it healthy and add yellowtail fish to it. Also great. So anyhow, it is a great, fantastic lunch on a summer day. I think it's good. It's, it's, uh, it'll help me digest everything else. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I just want it, so... And if you've not ever had flaxseed before, they have a nice little nuttiness to it. Mm -hmm. You have to grind flaxseed in order to digest mm -hmm. it. Hopefully you're getting sweetness, a mm -hmm. little bit of acid, not too much, and then hopefully a lot of nuttiness, and then the, the fruit kicks in. Is that cranberries you said? Cran raisin, exactly. Cran raisin, yeah. very good. All right, so, listen here. Go for it. All right. So they brought me pretzels, they brought me a avocado sandwich. But there's still one, two, no, that's the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just some number. But I need reinforcements, so I'm calling in a cameraman. He's going to help me out with these rest of these beers. Randy is coming in. All right, so Randy, you're going to take all the 34s. All right. Well, I'm guessing they're all 34s because they're all this color, so they're all the same number. What am I drinking? This one's 34, this one's 34, this one's 34. It's just numbers though. Yeah, well, it's like a pale, and then a light, and then a swirly, and then a that one you used to have juice. avocado in it, and I pulled it down and ate Cheers it. Me, All right, dude, here we go. That's water. Here we go. 
<clears throat> this one is chocolate dark light Coca-Cola mint. All right, here we go. Mm. Delicious? I agree with you. This one's delicious as well. I gotta tell you, I was looking at the menu online and this is the one that jumped out at me. I said I need it, I want it. So tell everybody what we're looking at and then I, got, I gotta eat it. Well this is essentially our signature sandwich. Uh, never had anything like it before, so it was fun to develop. Um, it's a avocado grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty normal, but what we do, we take it a step further. We started out, we made a, a fresh kale pesto, spread that right on one side of the bread. Mm. Add some mozzarella cheese to it. We oven roast tomatoes for about four hours, hand chop them, uh, a little bit of fresh basil in that, spread that the other side of the bread. Mm -hmm. Mozzarella cheese again. Now we, we choose a craft beer, uh, typically a lager, pilsner, something on the lighter side, not too hoppy, make a beer batter out of it. Avocado gets battered, deep fried, in between sandwich. On the griddle it sits until it gets nice and crusty and gooey and cheesy and all that good stuff. Mm. A grilled cheese four hours into making. So, hand cut fries to go with it, Canabex, of course. May I? Absolutely. Uh, excuse me. Let's see. I gotta stretch a little. There we go. Is this a sandwich people don't usually walk away hungry? They're usually, mm. wow, for a meatless sandwich, I am, I've had a fill. That avocado, man, melts in your mouth. And the tomatoes, mm-hmm. This is delicious. Oh, one, two, three, five second roll. <laughs> Welcome! You want to take a picture, take a seat, slash card, and smile. Well, he can still read. Well, that's a good sign. Here. I think we had a pretty good time at um, so. Feral Republic. We're here in Carlsbad. They also have locations. Nope. We're in Oceanside. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're in Oceanside. They also have locations at in Carlsbad and in Pacific Beach. So if you want to drink 47 beers like me, actually they have 48. So if you want to do that, you can up me. Go to those locations to do that. Thing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Food Quest. Tune in next week. See how many Marcus got right. You might give me a ride home. <laughs> A DD for my DD. Let's do it. I'm going for it. <laughs>